Next tonight, the tiny Cambridge computer that's turned into a global success story. In 2012, the team behind Raspberry Pi set out with the aim of selling a few thousand computers. To date, they've sold 8 million. In fact, it's now the most popular British computer ever made, as the BBC's technology correspondent Rory Kethlin jones reports. High above London, a birthday celebration for the Raspberry Pi, now the best-selling computer ever made in the UK. Four years ago, the Cambridge team behind the bare-bones computer expected to sell no more than 10,000 or so. Now 8 million, mostly built in this factory in South Wales, have been sold around the world. And today, a new Raspberry Pi was unveiled. Here's the original Raspberry Pi launched four years ago today. And here's the latest version. Well, they look much the same, but this one has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it signals the project's move out of the classroom into the wider world. The original aim was to transform children's attitudes to computers, introducing them to programming. And since coding became part of the national curriculum, they're becoming more and more common in the classroom. More of them, though, have been snapped up by hobbyists, and the Raspberry Pi is also making its way into factories around the world. But the computer's creator says it is fulfilling its original mission. We thought we could make a few thousand of these. All we were trying to do was to improve the applicant numbers to the University of Ca for computer science at the University of Cambridge. And we thought we could do that with two or three thousand units in the hands of the right people. And what have you achieved? Uh, we've got to eight million. So at some point in the last month, we sold eight million units. Uh, we've sold our eight, million, eight millionth unit. And that's taken us into first place. We're now the best-selling British uh, computer in history. Some have already found creative uses for the new Raspberry Pi like this 360-degree camera. I'm not sure it's a great look, though. This Cambridge invention has unleashed a computing revolution, and it's not over yet. Rory Catherine jones BBC Look East, at The Shard in London. Well, as you saw there, the Raspberry Pi looks like a credit card-sized circuit board, but when you plug it into a monitor and keyboard, the possibilities are almost endless. Dr. Sam Aaron from the University of Cambridge Computer Lab has created software to turn the Pi into a musical instrument. Earlier tonight, he told me why. I believe that code is one of the most creative things we have today, and it's super exciting, and I really want to try and get that message across. But it's really hard to go into classrooms or into to, to children and say, hey, you need to learn to code because it's good for sorting things. I think it's much more interesting to take it and say, hey, you can make some music or some fat beats, and that will engage them in a much more interesting way. OK, so here it is. This is the Raspberry Pi. Yep. Just show us how you can create sounds out of yeah, it. Yeah, so here we have this, uh, the software. I write the word play because we can have some fun. I choose a number. I press the run button and we have a beep. Right? I change the number to be higher, get a higher note. The I'll higher change. the number, the higher the note. And the lower the number, the lower the note. Single notes like that are easy. Show yeah. us something a bit more complicated. Well, of course, then you might want to make a melody. So here I'm going to play note 70 and waiting for a quarter of a second and then playing note 75. So I can make a melody. And if, if that's too fast, I can change it to be half a second, say. And so the code is triggering sounds that are programmed inside the Raspberry Pi, inside Absolutely. your software. Yeah, so my software emulates a full, uh, completely full synthesizer. So it actually generates all these sounds from mathematics within the system. How far can you take it? Could a DJ use this? Well, I mean, I actually perform in nightclubs and venues around the world using this system. I make more than beeps. I can make sort of drum beats and play those back. So that's a pretty good sample. But I can change the rate and make it more like hip hop. Or I can change the rate even faster, make it a bit more like dance music. OK, right, so just by changing the rate, I have different genres of music. When you and I were at school, that was pre-internet. Yes. And yet here we are now with children learning how to code in classes. How important do you think that is? It's unbelievably essential. Just as much as reading or writing is essential. It's not the same as reading and writing. They're very fundamentally different things. But reading and writing is an important thing to teach all our children. And I think code is going to be the same. It's going to allow children to express themselves in new ways. And it's going to be valuable not just for the workplace, but for their just general lives. This has got to be quite a challenge for teachers, though, I imagine. It's a very difficult challenge, yes. You have a lot of teachers who are now faced with having to teach uh, proper computer science, certainly in UK schools, which don't necessarily have the skills yet. And so we need to be, be, be really supporting them and, and creating new kinds of software like Sonic Pi, which hopefully can uh, uh, provide them easy tools to engage children. Um, the actual Raspberry Pi itself, it's cheap, it's portable. Yeah. How instrumental do you think that gadget particularly has been in terms of, of spreading the idea of coding throughout the country? I think it's fabulously important because it lowers the barrier to entry. 
And I think that anything that's, that makes it expensive or difficult provides friction for people to get involved, whereas this is actually makes it super simple. If a child wants to learn how to program, it's a very f affordable system to buy, and hopefully more people can have an opportunity to learn to code. Dr. Sam Aaron there.